In this video, we're going to learn to interpret data from a bar graph. So this graph right here is called a bar graph. Typically, we use bar graphs for categorical data. Uh, by that, we mean they fall into categories. They're not numbers. So here we have uh, frequency of eye color again. So try to get a feel for what it represents. Okay. This is representing frequency, which means a count of a number of people as opposed to a percent. Okay, and eye color is down here, and we have amber, blue, brown, hazel, green, and gray. Notice we could arrange these in any order. The order is irrelevant because they're just colors. It looks like I did this in alphabetical order, but that's another attribute of categorical data. Okay, so the first question asks us, oh, let me read this. The bar graph below represents the frequency of eye color in a class of students. So when I saw students, I realized I didn't have enough information. So this is data collected from a class of students. And the first one asks, how many students have hazel eyes? So we will go to the hazel bar. Okay. Here's the high part of that particular bar. And notice that corresponds to four. So our answer is, and it's at how many, so it's just going to be that frequency or number, and our answer is four students. Let's look at the next one. What eye color is most frequent in the class? Okay. Well, since this is representing frequency, the most frequent would be the highest bar. So this is the highest bar. Okay. And it looks like it's between 12 and 14, so this will be exactly 13. We can infer that because there can't be fractional people. Okay, and you may be tempted to write 13, but notice it asks what eye color. So the eye color, eye color corresponds to brown. So brown is the most frequent. Next question. What eye color is, is least frequent in the class? Okay, so that would be the lowest bar. So here I'm seeing this one's pretty low, amber and green, but notice gray is the lowest bar. Okay, it looks like it's corresponding to there's one student with gray eyes. So the least frequent eye color is gray. Now the next question asks us how many students are in the class. Okay. And sometimes that'll be given in the information, but it's not here. So um, assuming every student has an eye color, okay, we can add up these frequencies. So let's write the frequencies on the top. Let's do this with about blue. No, let's use red so we can really see it. So amber is two, blue is six, Brown, we found, was 13. Hazel is 4. Green is 2. And gray is 1. Okay, So those are all the different frequencies. And if we add them up, we could find the number of students in the class. So 2 plus 6 plus 13 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. We could do this on the calculator, but let's Let's do it in our head. So 8, 8 plus 13 is 21, 21 plus 6 is 27, plus 1 is 28. So there are 28 students in the class. And lastly, we are asked, what percentage of the class has blue eyes? And we're asked to round to the nearest hundredth. Okay. So the number of students that have blue eyes is six. Okay. So that's not our answer, but that's some information we need. So six students have blue eyes. But we want the percentage of the entire class. Well, fortunately, they just asked us how many people are in the class in total. So we already have that information. So it's the number of students with, let's just write this, blue eyes over the total number of students. And then we multiply this ratio or fraction times 100 percent, and that will give us the percent, which will round to the nearest 100. Okay, so this will be 
6 over 28 times 100. So 6 divided by 28 times 100. Okay, to two decimal places, we have a 2 in the hundredths place and 8 in the thousandths, so we're going to round up to 21.43%. Okay, and let's just write our final answer because we have a lot of things here. So percent with blue eyes is 21.43%.